of Lake Champlain is easy to see, but oftentimes boulders and residents don't realize what they unknowingly bring into the lake could be harming it. Usually when people think about pollution in the lake or harm to the lake, they think about maybe toxins in the lake or blue-green algae, um, and they don't really think about the way that animals or plants that usually humans introduce can have a negative impact on the lake. The Echo Leahy Center for Lake Champlain's new invasive species exhibit takes a closer look at some of the creatures sneaking into the lake's luscious ecosystem. Now there are 50 invasive species in Lake Champlain and that ranges from fish to crustaceans to plants um, and most of those were actually introduced by people both on accident and um, on purpose. The $8,000 exhibit officially opens on Thursday. Echo Hopes museum goers will learn what to watch out for when they hit the lake and also soak up what not to put in the water. People accidentally move invasive species because invasive species might attach to their boats or their fishing lines and when they move from one body, water body to another, they're bringing those invasive species with them. If you have a pet goldfish and maybe your son or daughter going off to college and you don't want to take care of that goldfish anymore, you might think the, the, the good thing to do would be to release it into the lake. Echo staff warns any non-native species can harm the lake. To learn more about how to keep the waters free of these pesky critters, head down to Echo starting Thursday. In Burlington, Jennifer Sheen, WPTZ News Channel 5.